single Aquarius, welcome to your monthly reading. This is for the month of October, Sun, Moon, Rising, Signs, and Venus. General reading loves, as always. Whatever we put in here on the channel, it's a general reading. And my highly resonate with you might be just one or two or three, even more messages for you. Take what resonates and connects with you and leave what doesn't, Aquarius. And let's not be judging. Might be your story, might be your energy, might be not. As well, if you're inclined to come to this reading for whatever reason you are pulled by the title or you are just want to hear what is in the place for you, you for sure have a message. Let's see, loves, what do we have for you this month? And whoever comes into your energy, old, new, or in between, will be shared with you. Let's see what we have for you, Aquarius. And how the energies are treating you this month. I do record this right on the 1st. And I hope I will put them by the end of the day. Three of Pentacles working on certain things. For some of you, you're working on a project. Being very mindful, and I feel here there is a teamwork energy. There is something here like teamwork, putting effort. Slow in the move. I feel here it's slow. And for some of you, you're taking it slow because something here is quite shaky or somebody here might not feel shaky, okay? So I feel what, for some of you, whatever you do is the right way. Because you know, going slow into any situation either will grow exponentially, either will crush. But I feel here slow, you will be prepared, you will be ready. But I'm feeling here, there's something here where somebody is knowing that if something here doesn't really add up, is a reason why. You gotta find the reason what's going on. You're still debating what is that? Let's see, loves. Six of Cups. Eight of Cups. Six of Wands. All right, there's something here is in the move. Page of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and Eight of Wands. Somebody here is reaching out this month. Could be a past person. Yes, absolutely. King of Swords, Knight of Wands, and Page of Swords. Look at you, loves. I feel here you know who is this person, and I believe it's an Earth sign. Okay? I don't see you are sticking with them. The, the Aquarius I'm speaking here, you might have fire in the chart. You might have Virgo in the chart. But I feel here you, you might get information here where you, you take it slow, you're not in a rush. It's like, okay, they're coming back, all right. Uh, let me see what they're coming back. And taking it slow, you will see, because this person, like you might be very consistent in your doings, they may not. Vice versa, flip the energy. But I feel here strongly, strongly, of course, you are still connected energetically. You might not be physically with them, but energetically, you're still connected with this person. And is an earth sign. I have earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I have Leo. I have Sag. And I have another air sign. If that's ring a bell for you, that could be your reading. Let's see, loves. See, eight of cups, chariot. Yes, somebody here moves on from an ex. It's kind of like, I'm not going to stay here. Ten of swords, five of wands. That was an argument. That was a fight. That was other people involved. Knight of wands, two of wands. Yes. Somebody here quickly made the decisions like, you know, I'm not going to deal with this kind of stuff. I'm out. I'm out. And I feel here you decided to walk away 
from this person. Seven of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Nine of Wands. You have a history with this person. For some of you, you could be with them for quite a long time. And you realize that something here doesn't go. Or if it was very slow movement, that's why. Somebody was very dishonest or very conflicted here because you do have a history here. Let's see here, what's the talk about with this person? What's the talk? Eight of Wands, speak to me here. So for some of you, if you wanna avoid an argument or a fight with somebody or an exchange of somehow or whatever it is with somebody to not get in trouble, you might avoid a call or a text here because I'm feeling here that there is something here coming and might not be really what you're looking of. Eight of Wands was the talk here about. There is a message. It's not much in the beginning. It's small. Okay. Okay, somebody here will be talking about Oh, you moved on. Oh, you've done this. Oh, you never reach out. You know, kind of a thing. Oh, you choose to, to leave this behind or things like that. Oh, you are the stubborn one. Things like that. It's kind of like, why are you so stubborn? Feeling disappointed. Something like that extend. But I feel here this person wants closure. That's the thing. They feel like they didn't have closure enough. What about you? King of Swords, speak to me here. You are on a new path. Two of Cups and Seven of Wands. Standing up for yourself and moving on. For some of you, you are will meet this month somebody new. If you are going towards somebody new or new love and really want that, stick with that, that person might be the one. Yes, Aquarius. Absolutely. Look at this. So indeed here, I feel here, there's an Aquarius here is moving forward towards somebody new. And also for some of you, if you met somebody new and moved on with somebody new, your ex will text you, oh, now I know why not doing this or you hurt me because you choose the other person because they found out that you have somebody new okay so you might leave an earth sign for a fire sign vice versa but i feel here you are very strongly in in between an earth and a fire yes loves and i feel here you're not quite sure yet It's kind of like the, the things are not yet set in stone with a new person. But I feel here you, you really want this person. So expect loves for that. But I feel here there is movement in a very short time. And somebody here might even move the, the home, the location, even the, the, the environment they are in. Somebody here, I'm, I'm hearing, somebody here is expecting an apology. Whoever is that person, but I, I get very loud this message. Let's see here, one message, one advice for you, Aquarius. We have three pages here. The only page is missing is the page of cups. Giving yourself another chance to love again. 
for others of you, forgiveness is needed to move forward. But let's see, one advice, one message here for Aquarius. Five of Swords, Two of Swords, Hermit, and the Strength, and the Knight of Cups. Yes, I feel here there is an offer here of love to move forward with. Although, I will say to not rush too quick, too fast. What I'm saying here is take time to get over whatever you've been and then give yourself a chance to move forward. You can do this, okay? But I feel here, you Aquarius, that's the, the advice we see here. Five of Swords speaks about jealousy. For some of you, you are leaving somebody je jealous or somebody who had jealous tendencies. You might even block them. You might even cut them off. And you realize here with this hermit energy, because I see here you are, is this truly what I wanted at one point? And I feel here it's kind of like you, you grow up big time. It's like I can do better. And yes, indeed you can. So, lovely Aquarius, quite a thing, quite a reading for you. Let's see what the Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards speaks to you for this month. And don't back down, loves. Goodness. Don't back down. The Bridget card. Stand up for what you believe is right. Awesome. Awesome. Let's see here the meaning for Bridget. Let's see. The meaning for this card is be assertive. Don't worry about what others think trust that your actions will work out fine speak your truth stick to your opinions put your foot down goodness that's what we see the whole reading very strong energy here for you and undying love the love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation i feel here you might still love this person but for the fact that you don't trust or you don't believe in them anymore or whatever they hurt you, you can't stick with it anymore. So loves, that's what I have for you at this time, for this month. If you feel this speaks to you and you really enjoy this energy, give it a like, give it a share. Your feedback is very much appreciated. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Namaste.